So in this problem, we're told to use part one of the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the derivative of the function. We're told that g of y is equal to the integral from 1 to y, t squared times sine of 6t dt. So let's just start off by finding or rewriting our function. So rewrite it like this. Uh, then we can find it. So what we want to do is we know that the derivative so g prime of y is going to be, since we got it in this form already, so what you would uh, first do is try and get this in the top, right? So like you want to move your the variable that's in your uh, like upper bound or lower bound into the top. And in this case, it's in our upper bound, so we don't have to change anything. But basically what we want to do is take this, um, plug it in, into our function right here, right? And then we're going to multiply it by the derivative of our upper bound or whatever our variable is. So if we plug y into this, it's going to become y squared, y squared times the sine of 6y. So we basically just replace our t's with y's. And then we multiply by the derivative of y. So the derivative of a constant is just going to be 1. So we just multiply by 1, but it's just going to be the same thing. So this right here is going to be our answer. But um, to understand this, what you got to know is just basically, if you take the derivative of an integral, it's just going to be the function on your inside. So if I take the derivative of this, it's just going to be my x. And since we have the bound, right, so since we have this upper bound, we got to multiply by the derivative of the bound too, because it's like the chain rule. So yeah, the answer to this problem is going to be y squared times the sine of 6y.